This morning, we are highlighting two women who are at the top of their game. While 45% of athletic trainers in this country are women, many still have not broken into the highest level of men's sports leagues. So that's where Jessica Cohen and Stephanie Lugwick come in. They are both making waves in professional sports. Jamie Yuka spoke to them and the players that they train. Strength, determination, and smashing glass ceilings. Recently named head athletic trainer for the Portland Trailblazers. Five more. Jessica Cohen is the only female to currently hold that title in the NBA. You said five more than I did seven more, bro. No. <laughs> when you were a little girl, this was not the job of your dreams. I really thought I was going to be the first woman president and give some of these guys a run for their money in politics. You still could be. I still could be. A few miles away. So at the bottom on this one? Stephanie Ludwig was just promoted to the same position. First, get it going in place. For Major League Soccer's Portland Timbers, the first in that team's history. I'm super proud of myself, and it needs to continue to happen, right? Especially women in leadership positions. This is more important than me, so um, I wear that, you know, with pride. Both Midwesterners in their early 30s, these women are embracing their roles. Good, any pain? In a predominantly male profession. Much of Cohen's first season at the helm was spent helping players rebound from injury. She's been helping me a lot. She's rehabbing my knee, uh, you know, trying to strengthen my knee up and uh, just take care of me so I can get back on the court. We definitely been uh, keeping her busy, so she gonna earn that paycheck for sure. <laughs> in this world, they cannot do their job if they're not at 100%. So I like the challenge of getting them back to their baseline level prior to the injury or even to a better place than before they got hurt. The goal for Ludwig is to make sure each player knows she always has their back on the field and off. Sometimes the athletic training room especially um, is some of the most vulnerable space that an athlete can be in, um, whether it's they're actually injured or they're coming in and they're like, man, I'm worried that I can't perform my job. The training is the most important and the game you just take it lightly. She's always here to, to help us. Do you think she's improved your game? Oh, definitely. I have you on the massage list today. These ladies are tough and tenacious. Pull hard. But players appreciate their slightly warmer approach. There you go. Praise life that I could talk to Jessica about anything, you know, even off the court, mentally. Um, you know, that's what she's here for. You know, she's not just a trainer. A hundred percent. There should be warm, more women in the sports industry. I think she's very emotionally connected, which is important. Women are driven by instincts. Right? Like we have strong instincts. I think that the ability to listen to those and being given the platform to actually embrace them, that's where maybe like we can make positive strides moving forward. Do you think there are differences between female and male trainers? I don't think so. I think everyone naturally gets along with certain people in different ways. Not one time did anyone say, how are you going to do this job because you're a girl? Do you feel like you've kind of proven yourself? Yeah. Last spot. Regardless of gender, regardless of background, I just knew working at this level of sports would be hard to get to, and I just was going to do it no matter what. Both Cohen and Ludwig see themselves as more than just leaders in their field. They are also motivators to their teams. So up on the wall it says, work every day the way you want to be remembered. I had a feeling you are going to ask that question. <laughs> How do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as, as someone who works really hard and comes to work every single day to not only do my best, but maximize someone else's best. Despite their amazing drive and accomplishments, there is one more hurdle for these two powerhouse Portland women to conquer. You've never met Stephanie. I have not. She wants to meet you. We just ended. They just started. Hopefully there's time where we can meet. I'm super excited for her and also want to congratulate her as well. I haven't had the opportunity to, to say it in person yet, but you know, it's, it's amazing to be in the same city with somebody who is also a trailblazer and is pushing things forward. Do you feel that Portland sports fans should be really proud? Oh, I, I think they are. I, I really do think they are. For CBS Mornings, Jamie Yukis, Portland, Oregon. It's a nice piece. Oh, Jamie, yeah. I like, I like what she said, Tony. They're tough and tenacious, but they all pointed out that they have a warmth to them. Yeah. I do think that there's a difference on that level when it comes to male and female. Yeah. I, I mean, I like that they're in the same city and that they've too. never met. It just goes to show how busy they are. Yeah. Well, something if, tells if, me that's going to change. If that were David Begnaud package, they would have had a surprise meeting right there at the end. <laughs> I thought we were building to that. You know what? I did, too. I like the th sign on the wall. Work every day the way you want to be remembered. Yeah. That's that. a good lesson for all of us. We'll be right back.